Hello, uh, my name is Richard Hewison and I'm here this afternoon with Valerie Chaplin from Remain in Spain uh, as part of our video series on YouTube. Now, Valerie's been a passionate Rejoin EU campaigner ever since we left the EU and obviously some very, very interesting issues occurring in Spain at the moment, uh, uh, particularly the 180 day, 182 day rule, is it? Am I right there, Val? It's 90 in 180 days that you can spend over here. And how's uh, that impacting people at the moment? Badly, uh, especially for people who haven't got residencia, who own their own homes, uh, have, uh, sorry, have holiday homes over here. Uh, they're finding it too expensive uh, because they're keeping their homes going in the UK, uh, not being able to come over when they want. They're coming over for a holiday and working all the time on their homes. So we are getting a mass exodus of holiday home homes selling up. That's very sad. I mean, let, let's be frank. A lot of the people who live in Spain uh, move there on a promise, a, a promise of a future that was guaranteed by our membership of the European Union. I don't think anyone ever warned about uh, the potential of Brexit prior to at least 2015 and what might happen there. And people made big commitments. I can imagine people must be furious. They are furious as well. And it's ruined so many people's plans, you know, who were, some were coming over to work, some were retiring, and they've just had to give up their, their what they wanted to do. And how many of these people actually got a vote in the referendum in 2016? Talking to most of them, most of them did. I mean, yes, some are Brexiters. Um, you sort of say to them, well, it's Brexit reality. Um, and a lot of them complain. We weren't told what was going to happen. In fact, nothing was really explained. And I guess relations can't be that great between the UK and Spain now because we've got this driving license situation. Is it today that that uh, comes it, into effect? It exp yes, it is. Spain has been good in putting further um, dates on it. Uh, it finally expired yesterday. So anybody who hasn't changed their driving license, they are now, it's now illegal to drive if you're, a, if you're a resident over here and you're holding a British driving license. I mean, Spain is negotiating like mad. Uh, the UK have negotiated with 24 other countries and uh, they're saying, why can't it be done? Why can't a reciprocal agreement be done with, with them as well? Seeing as we've probably got the most majority of expats over here or immigrants over here. It's just bizarre though, isn't it? So, so if I was to come over to Spain as a British holiday maker, yeah? You're I'd fine. Be... <laughs> you're, you're able to drive. <laughs> wow. The, the Muppets who designed Brexit and the, the consequences, it, it really makes my blood boil. But obviously there is one upside. The British love queuing, of course. Uh, and I'm guessing queues in Spain are, are now uh, getting quite large at things like places like airports. And the... the airports aren't too bad here, but it's the British going through uh, their side. There's just queue yeah. upon queue upon queue. They're all moaning about not being able to go through the European channels, you know. Um, and you said, well, it's another Brexit reality. Yeah. You've got to have your passport stamped. And I must admit, the Spanish are a lot more politer than the British customs. <laughs> and they do try and help. But yes, it's causing no end of problems. Do, do you not think that so some of them must have a little smile to themselves when they see Brexit reality coming into uh, s s some of, how can I put it, our more eloquent exports to Spain? Yes. I must admit, some of us do smirk, especially, you know, when we get the Brexiters moaning over here. Oh, why don't they speak English over here and what have you? We voted out because, uh, you know, we're fed up of immigrants. And you sort of say to them, well, what do you think you are if you come and live here? <laughs> oh, we're expats. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be said, the, the double things. Of, well, obviously, there is a bit of good news for all of us today. Um, Jacob Rees-Mogg has just decided that Brexit is a phenomenal act of self-harm, so I'm sure the government will be looking to reverse it very, very oh, soon. Oh, I'm sure they'll listen to Jacob, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on and chatting to us today. I think it's a very important thing that a lot of us forget, what's actually the impact on British citizens who've taken advantage 
of all the opportunities under the e while we were in the EU. And I really hope uh, we get an update from you in the very near future, uh, when hopefully, fingers crossed, at least some of these issues start to get resolved. Thank you very oh. much for joining me, Michelle. Okay, and thank you for having me. <laughs> Bye-bye. Vote to rejoin EU. Join the EU vision.